Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the first week that we're doing a regular series that we're going to be doing for the rest of the NBA season with Indian Cowboy from Doc Sports. We're going to preview the uh, two Thursday night TNT NBA games on Tuesday afternoon before we have lines up, before we even have the results of the uh, Tuesday and Wednesday games. But Indian Cowboy, an awesome, awesome long-term record in the NBA. He's not afraid to, uh, to take these uh, kinds of assignments and uh, very happy to have him. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks for having us, Pete. All right, so we're going to cover the second game here. Houston, Sacramento. Before we get into it, uh, you know, just tell everyone, you know, historically you've done very well in the NBA. That's why your opinions on these games are so valuable. Uh, just give us a rundown of how you've done in basketball in general at your site, DocSports.com. Yeah, sure. We went 94 and 62 for 60%, uh, which was number one in the country last year at plus 12,890. Uh, that doesn't guarantee future success, of course, but we love to try to you know, try to do well and win. We come off a seven and a run, kind of a down tick for us lately, but overall 16 and nine or, or 16 and eight run for us. So really positive. We've already started the season out of the gate, 61%, 25 and 16 for plus 2010. We do the one play of the day system, which is really, really simple. Um, we think that's the easiest way to approach things. The less time you butt your head against Vegas, the more likely you are to do well. Uh, you know, three out of five and then six out of 10, that is not easy to do. So we like to try to go 60% for the long haul. College ball was good for us, 65 and 45 plus 44, 40. So combined NBA college ball was one, you know 156, 107, about 59 percent for plus 12,000 or a plus 17,310. You tack on WBA as well, and you're talking about plus 20,500. So really pleased with the NBA. We love researching in advance. We love giving daily comfrey videos, which a lot of people subscribe to. Um, so we love researching NBA in advance, so we can try to do well throughout the course of the week. All right, that's awesome. I'm very excited for this new series. All right, the second uh, TNT game this Thursday is Houston at Sacramento, and Sacramento, of course, lost four out of five against the spread at home on their recent homestand, and DeMarcus Cousins being out with viral uh, meningitis uh, had a lot to do with that, of course. Houston's been generally a solid ATS team this year. They've also been a major undertrender, but it's mostly come at home. They're uh, just four and five over under on the road before the uh, Tuesday road game that they have. And also very recently, they've been a bit higher scoring and actually been going over a bit uh, in their recent uh, four or five games. But in general, strong undertrender at home on the year. How are you going to be uh, looking to bet this game, any Cowboy? Well, we like the under here, too. We have okay. the... Uh... You know, keep in mind, we, we had the Cleveland game at about 188. We also have this game at about 189. Okay. So we expect the, you know, we talked about the Cleveland game, the line probably being the mid-190s. We think this line is probably going to be 196 and a half is a good guess. Uh, that's probably what the line is going to be. You know, in these type of tilts with, with above average teams, the 196 and a half number is usually what the odds, odds makers like. Right. So we actually have this at about 198. Uh, keep in mind, when these two teams hooked up, you know, last year, it gives some reference, it was 102 to 89, it went to 191, went under the post total, great public fade, last game on the board, everybody will be taking the over likely. Uh, and these two teams, you know, a lot of people don't realize that as good as Houston is offensively, you know, a lot of people don't realize they're actually only 19th in the in the league offensively, but the third in the deep, in the league in defense, which I think goes overlooked. They're number one in three-point field goal percentage allowed. They're seventh in the league in rebounds. So they're a very good defensive team, and they have to be more defensively uh, smart now that Howard has been out for a while. Combine that with Sacramento with Cousins out as well. You know, this team is a pretty strong defensive team as well. They give up 92 to Utah, and, you know, Sacramento preaches defense really much on a consistent basis mm -hmm. as well. Because this is a team, the reason why they're 11 and 10 this year, Vivek Ronadive, the owner, has a lot to do with it. But they stress defense, and the coach and the coach's father and everybody else are always defense oriented first. So, a great public fade. Houston's very good on the defensive end. Sacramento has to rely on the defensive end because it's out. So, we like the under here. All right. So, the you know, in the NBA, short term changes can sometimes be very important. So, Houston's uh, very recent short term uh, shift to the under over the last four or five games and being a bit higher scoring combined with the fact that uh, they are uh, just four and five over under on the road uh, before Tuesday. Uh, that doesn't concern you much? Houston's recent run of, of no, short because, I mean, the kings are yeah. The Kings are four and one uh, to the under when they face uh, teams from the West Western Conference without Cousins of late. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, you're, like you mentioned that recent trends really matter a lot in the NBA because things shift so quickly right. uh, in the NBA with so many injuries and so on and so forth. <laughs> You know, the Rockets are 5-1 and one of the under when they face a team with a straight-up winning record. So when they face competitive teams, maybe they step up, and it likely goes to the under. 
Uh, plus, you know, the Rockets are also part of it depends on if they win the previous day before or not, mm -hmm. uh, because the Rockets are 11 and to the under following an ATS win as well. But in general, the Rockets are 12 and four to the under when they face the Western Conference as well. So we have it at 190 or 188. So when the line comes out, it's probably going to be in the mid 190. So we probably expect this game to go under. Awesome information. Indian Cowboy, that's how a professional handicapper who does this nonstop for a living analyzes the game. Indian Cowboy leaning under in Houston, Sacramento on Thursday night. Thanks so much, IC. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.